Undarke namaskaram. Today is the seventh day of our classes on Sanatana Dharma. This is the third batch of uh, certificate course on Sanatana Dharma. So, first two classes we had introduction on Sanatana Dharma and Vedas. Next two classes we had uh, on Vedas by Krishna Murari Tripathiji. Then after that, we have uh, two more classes on Upanishads by our uh, academic director, Dr. C.S.R. Prabhugaru. Today is the third day of the Upanishads. So with this, we will complete the basics of Upanishads. We, here we covered three Upanishads. Going forward, after this course, we are going to have an advanced course where we will cover the uh, these topics like Upanishads and other things in greater detail. So this is just giving you an idea of what is Upanishads and touching upon two, three examples. So the next course will start after uh, the basic course now. And also, Veda Samuskriti Samiti, in association with Vishwayoga Vidyapit, is uh, conducting these classes on Sanatan Dharma with the aim to promote Sanatan Dharma in its followers. So, now let us start our uh, webinar today with Vande uh, Mataram and prarthana so i will request sala chitti babu garu to decide when they matram let us all stand up and sing they matram along with him okay Vande Mataram Sujalam Sufalam Malaya Jasitalam Sasya Syamalam Mataram Vande Mataram Subra Josna Pulla kusumita dromadada so binim. So ha asinim. So madhura bhashinim. So kadam varadam mataram. Vande mataram. Vande mataram. Vande mataram. So let us request Satyaji to chant Prarthana. Sure. Namaskaram. Let's do meditation for one minute. Let's close our eyes. Let's sit straight. Let's watch our breath. Let's not have any other thoughts. Let's focus on the class for the next hour and a half.
गणना गणपति गुंहवामहे कवि कवीनामुपमश्रवस्तम ज्येष्ठराज ब्रह्मण ब्रह्मणस्पत आनसृण्व नीतिसाधन ओ श्री महागणाधिपत नम ओ प्रणोदेवी सरस्वती वाजेर्वाजिनी धीनामित्रवतु ओ श्री महासरस्वत नम गुरेव गति गुरमे भजे गुरुन सह अस्म नमो गुरव न गुरो परम शशिस्मी गुरो मतिरस्ति गुरो मम पाही गुरो ज्ञानंदमय देव निर्मल स्फटिकाकृति आधार सर्व विद्या हयग्रीव मुस्मे श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराण आल करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शोकशंक शंकराचार्य केशव पादरायण सूत्रभाष्यकृत वंदे भगवत ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम व्याप्तेहाय दक्षिणाूर्त नम असतो मद्गमया तमसो मोतिर्गमया मृत्योर्मात गमया ओ शातिशाशाति मातृदेव भव पितृदेव भव आचार्य देव भव अतिथि देव भव ओ सहना सहनौ भुन सह वीर करवाह तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तु मिद्विषा वह ओ शातिशाशाति ओ श्री गुरभ्यो नम हरि ओ धन्यवाद रिक्वेस्ट सी एस आर प्रभु गार टू स्टार्ट द वेबिनार प्लीज अथर्वेदीय मांडूक्योपनिषत् भद्रम कर्णे शृणयाम देवा भद्रम पश्येमाजत्र स्थिंगुवांसस्तनू व्यसेम देवित यदायु स्वस्ति न इंद्रो वृद्धश्रवा स्वस्ति नूषा विश्वेद स्वस्ति नस्ताक्षो अरिष्ठने स्वस्ति नो बृहस्पति शांति 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 फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल बी कवरिंग द मांडू की उपनिषद today is the last day for the upanishad series of three days mandukya upanishad stands tall in the atma jnana brahma jnana and moksha process of understanding and realization of the self now i want to make a few important uh, points before starting the actual text of the vandika upanishad the first point is that the i in quotes i i i which everyone feels and experiences non stop over the life ever since childhood or birth and even up to death or maybe beyond death we don't know must be beyond the concept that i 
is made up of two components one is the prime self the pure consciousness i which is there in everyone jimalo brahmalo shivakeshavadulalo prema meera nindi undadi rama antaramayam ee jagamantaramayam antarangamuna atmaramanta roopana fundamental reality. So over that, within the individual, due to Maya or due to Prakriti, you can say, both are same, there is a layer of ego, ahankar. So that is what separates, somebody asked me the other day, why I am not feeling like the other person. Because the ego is separating individual selves. So because of the ego, the individual is not able to identify his own self with the self of others. And because of ego, a series of layers will come. That is the foundation layer, Ankara. Then comes Mamakar, mind, mind, mind. Then comes Ragam. Then comes Vesham. Then they get Kamam, Krodham, Lobham, Moham, Madam, Master. So this total 10 are the manifestation of the whole samsara. There is no problem in this world except these 10. So to replace, to observe these 10 and replace them with their opposites is Dharma Yoga meditation. If you observe anger and replace it with its opposite, that is love, anger will be nullified. So when you are free from all these 10, if you also finally are free from Ankar, which is one of the first of the 10, then you will be in your own self. That is what Patanjali also said, Yogas Chitavrit Nirodha Tada Drashu Swarupi Avastha. In your own true nature. What is the true nature? Pure consciousness. So that pure consciousness is the same in you and me and even an ant or in Brahman or in Vishnu or in Shiva, the same consciousness. Hiranyagarbha Dishthavarantesh Sariresh Yad Ekam Chaitanyamasti Tadeva Ahamasmi Iti Dhrajnara Siddhir Bhuya Sajati Vijati Svagata Bheda Rahita Akhanda Satchidaranda Brahma Atman Bhava Siddhir Bhuya Itcha Suddha Buddha Mukta Satcha Paramananda Adviti Brahma Atman Bhava Siddhir Bhuya So this is the ultimate knowledge, truth. This is only truth. Satyam, Jnanam, Anantam, Brahma. That's what yesterday we have studied. Now, to reach the realization of who am I, which is not the question Ramana Maharshi asked himself, because when he was very young, his brother asked him to go and die. So he tried to die by becoming like a dead body. He stopped his breath and he found that he is not dying. So he realized that it is not the body, there is something else. So who is that something else? Who am I? Not So he went to Tiruvannamalai mountain cave. First he was in underground mountain cave near the temple area. Then he went to the cave on the top of the Skandagiri, not Skandagiri, Arunachalam, which is called Skandash. There he meditated for six years. And then he realized, who am I? I also had some experiences in the same spot where he meditated. So when everything is stopped, the mind is stopped. Therefore, the ahankaram is also stopped. Then you are in yourself. That is ultimate peace. And that peace is the self, which is sunyam. Sarva sunyam niravasam samadhi stashtrakshana. So today in the Manvika Upanishad, we will be understanding who am I? 
ಓಮಿತ್ಯಕ್ಷರಂ ಸರ್ವ ಸೊ ಓಂ ಈಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಓಮಿತ್ಯೇತದಕ್ಷರ ಓಮಿತ್ಯೇತದಕ್ಷರ ಇದಗಂ ಸರ್ವ ತೋಪಾಖ್ಯಾಖ್ಯಾನಭೂತ ಭವಿಷ್ಯವಿತಿ ಸರ್ವಂಕಾರ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಂಡೂಕ್ಯ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಓಮ್ ಯು ನೋ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಓಮ್ ವೆರಿ ಫ್ರೀಕ್ವೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ದ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಮಂತ್ರಾಸ್ ಓಂ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಓಂ ಬಟ್ ಓಂ ತ್ರೀ ಸಿಲಬಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಓಂ minimum of course long goms are there in yoga shastra for practices of meditation om ityeka aksharam one single letter idagam sarvam idagam means idi whatever you see sarvam everything tasya upavyakhya bhutam bhavi bhavat bhavishyaditi so you may ask question when you say everything is everything in present tense or past tense or future tense and he says in all the three bhuta avat bhavishyat in all the three tenses whatever exists now whatever existed whatever is going to exist sarvam omkara eva yajjapi trikada trikalaatitam yaccha anya trikalaatitam tadapyomkara eva if anything exists beyond the three times three tenses present past and future that is also omkara eva that is also om sarva omkara eva yacha anya trikalaatitam tadapyomkara eva sarva khyeta brahma ayam atma brahma so ayam atma chatushpa sarva hi sarvam hi etat brahma so whatever you see is all put together is brahma so oh, just now you said everything put together is om that means brahman is om and i am atma brahma this is one of the four mahavakyas belonging to the adhara veda pandukya upanishad i am atma brahma this self is brahma so this is a very 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 profound most profound statement thus when patanjali said tata drashtu swarupe avasthana chitta vritti nirodha when chitta vritti nirodha happens you are established in yourself and vritti swarupe mitra all other times you are identified with chitta vritti and what happens when you are established in yourself and who are you so that answer is being given here i am atma this self is brahman he is the supreme being the absolute reality brahman because obviously when you take the top down approach brahman is everything so you cannot be different from it can you be anta brahmam ra hi jagamanta brahmam ra anta brahmam anubhavam aite mari atade var mari neeve var if everything is brahman can you and i be different from it you are also brahman i am also brahman so everything which you see sarvam khalvidam brahma that is also mahavakya so i am atma brahma therefore and that brahman is om i am atma chatushpad this self which is brahman having four legs four parts four parts So what are those four parts the waking state the dream state and the deep sleep state so the self is going through four apart from this three the fourth one is surya
So we all know we are going through three states. Waking, sleep, dream. These three we know very well. Jagaritasthano bahiprajya sattanga yekona vimshati mukhasthonahu vaishwanaraha pradhopada. So the first pada, first part, first quarter is in the waking state. The name given is Vaishwanara, Vishwa, related to Vishwa, the ex extroversial state of existence of awareness of the universe. Vaishwanara, Jagarita Sthano, Mahiprajnaha, extroversial. Saptangaha, Ekona Vimshati Mukhaha, 19 faces. Thula Bhuk, gross, absorber, enjoyer. Vaishwana Prathama Padaha, Swapnasthano, Antaprajnaha, dream state, is introversial. Saptangaha, Ekona Vimshati Mukhaha, 19 faces once again. Pravibhaktaha Bhuk, Taijaso Vitijaha. His name is Taijasa, related to Tejas. Only radiant radiation, radiance. Vitiyaha. Then Yatra Suttora Kinchana Kamam Kamayate Nakanchana Sottam Pashati Tat Sushuptam Sushupti deep sleep. Where there is no dream, dreamless deep sleep. Yatra sutto nakinchanam kamam kamayate, no desires whatsoever. In the Vaishwanara and Tayasa state, the self is having desires which are being fulfilled. Whereas in deep sleep state, there are no desires. Sushupta sthana eki hutaha prajnana ghana deva ananda mayo yananda bhukcheto mukaha prajna spruti apadaha. What is he doing there? How is he there? Prajnana ghana ha. Thick, dense prajnana, transcendental knowledge. Prajnanam Brahma, that is another Mahavakya exists. Prajnana Khanaha. Eva Aranda Mayo, he is in state of Aranda. He is in state of Aranda. He is in state of Aranda. I slept happy. What is that happiness? Is it by eating ice cream you got happiness? Or you got by what? No, nothing was there. In a dream, at least we can eat ice cream in the dream, though you may not eat outside because you have diabetes and sugar. Whereas in deep sleep, nothing is there. So nothing being there, you are still enjoying yourself, extreme highest enjoyment. So without which, no life is possible. All living beings go through sushupti. That is the state of the self. Your own state of the Atma Sthiti. Sushupti Sthadha Eki Bhutaha Prajjana Ghanaha Eva Ananda Mayaha Ananda Bhuk Tejo Mayaha Mukaha Prajnaha. His name is Prajna. That means highly Prakrishthena Jana Niti Prajna. Prajna. Prakrishtha jnana is there. What is that jnana? No objective knowledge. It is own self knowledge. Esha Sarveshwaraha. And that being is Sarveshwara, the supreme being, God himself, Ishwara. Esha Sarvajyaha is all knowing, supreme being. Esha Antaryami is the Antaryami, Paramatma, Ahamatma, Gura Kesha, Sarva Bhuta Vyavasthitaha, Ahamadin Jamadhyan Jabhutana, Vantaevacha. So that Paramatma is the self 
who is in all these three states. And in the third state, there is no objective reality. It is pure subjective experience of transcendental supreme state of bliss and jnana. Jnanarandamayam devam nirmalas padigakrutim adharam sarvabhutanam ayagrivam upasmahe Ishvaro Guru Ratmeti Murti Vedata. The three things, Ishvara, Guru and myself, there are only three different forms. Murti Veda Eva, Natu Tattva Veda, Tattva means Atma Tattvam, there is only one self. Esha Yoni Sarvasya is the womb of everything, but the creation spot for everything. All the beings are born out of which? This part is over. Atraita Sloka Bhavanti. The the foundational declarations of the, the supreme reality or Brahman and the self, both being same, are given in this till now in very short, powerful script terminology and words and phrases. The ultimate truth has been delivered in the modern creation. Now, <laughs> I will continue. Of course, there is a commentary by Gaudapada. <coughs> Gaudapada's karika is so great that it has been attached to the Upanishad itself. No other commentator had that privilege of having his commentary attached to the Shruti. Here it is attached by Prajna Vibhur Vishvoyam Antaprajna Stutaijasa. <laughs> Only one understood and manifested in three ways. Vahi Prajna, Vaishwara, Anta Prajna, Kajasa, and dense consciousness is Prajna. Trishudha Masu Yad Yog, Bhojyam Bhokta Yascha Prakititaha, Vedeta do Vayamya, the Bunjano Naripyate, in all the three, even though he is enjoying these three states, he is not attached, he is not contaminated, he is not touched by the objective experiences. Prabhava Sarvabhavanam. Tatamiti Vinishya, Sarvam Janayati Pranaha, Cheto, Amsun, Purusha Prathak. Everything is born out of the same pure supreme consciousness called Brahman. Vibhutim, Rasavantyante, Manyante, Srishti Chintaka, Sopna Maya Sarupeti, Srishti Ranye Kalpikal. Some people say this universe is the Vibhuti, the glory of the supreme being. Some people say it is like a dream. Samsara Swapna Tulyohi, Ragadveshadi Sankulaha. Somebody was asking yesterday, oh, I am having so many problems. Our own personal relationships become problems. Our own objects become problems. Our own body becomes problems. Our own emotions become problems. But all these problems are in the Swapna Maya Vikalpitaha. A dream like false Maya based projection. The entire life which you live, the problems which you face, and the universe which you see, everyone sees a different universe, everyone faces different problems. All this is a projection. This one, 
दर्पण दृश्यमान नगरी तुल्यम योगवासीम एंड इन अवधूत गीता and in advaita siddhanta of shankaracharya prashna grandhas and in the vaalmikya karika of gaudapada that this universe does not exist that is ajati vaad it is only appearing to exist <coughs> and it is so strongly appearing to exist differently to different persons at different times लोकक्षयकृत्म Lokan samahat tumi ha pravrutta. So I am time. He said in the eleventh chapter. So he is just a manifestation of time in which everything, the whole universe, all lokas will be consumed. Lokan samahat tumi ha pravrutta. In the Vishwarupa, he showed how everything is dissolved, absorbed, consumed by the Lord in the form of time. Bhogadham sushtita yatanye. Some people say that this universe is created for sake of enjoyment or suffering, whatever you call it. Bhoga and krida dhamiti cha pare. Where some others say it is for a game, sport. Krida dhamiti cha pare. This universe is just created for fun. It is like a video game universe or metaverse. The metaverse is the parallel universe. It is created virtual reality. Metaverse. Devasya svabhavoyam apta kamasya kasprihati. So there are many many theories. That is how we have these twenty-five siddhantas coming out of the explanation of the statements given in the Sruti, Manu Kyopanishad. Of course, the Advaita Siddhanta is actually given by Gaudapada and not Shankara. Gaudapada is the grand teacher of Shankara. Gaudapada's disciple is Govinda Bhagavat Pada, and his disciple is Asvatthama, who is the guru of guru of all gurus, and he is the Kaliyuga Avatar of Shankara himself. And in Dwapara Yuga it is Vyasa, and in Treta Yuga it was Vasistha. Jagat Gurus and Krtayva it was Dakshina Murti. So these are the Jagat Gurus. So he prostrate to all of them. Brahma Brahma Dibhyo, Brahma Vidya Sampradaya Katru Bhyo, Vamsarishi Bhyo, Mahat Bhyo, Namo Guru Bhya. Now we continue with the Upanishad. Sa na anta prajna na bahi prajna no bahya prajna. नो भयत प्रज्ञ न प्रज्ञा न घन न प्रज्ञ न प्रज्ञ द फोर्थ दुस्तरिया इज नॉट इंट्रोवर्शियल कॉन्शियसनेस इज नॉट एक्सट्रोवर्शियल कॉन्शियसनेस नॉट ड्यूअल कॉन्शियसनेस बोथ न अंत प्रज्ञ न भय प्रज्ञ नो भयत प्रज्ञ न प्रज्ञा न घन नॉट डेंस प्रज्ञा न एज इन डीप स्लीप न प्रज्ञ न प्रज्ञ इट इज नाइदर प्रज्ञ न अप्रज्ञ अदृष्टम इट कैन नॉट बी सीन दैट मींस इट कैन नॉट बी विजुअलाइज्ड अदृश्यम अदृष्टम अपहार्यम अग्राह्यम इट कैन नॉट बी अंडरस्टूड ग्रास Alakshanam, achintyam. It has no attributes. 
Achintyam is unthinkable. Anyabadesham ekapya prachayasaram, but it is one self. That is the only description that can be given. Prapancha upashamanam. The greatest peace, Shivam Advaitam. The most blissful. The word Shiva means blissful. Kalyana Swarupa. Advaitam, one without a second. <coughs> Ekameva Advitiyam Brahma, Nehanara Stikinchala. One without a second. Whatever multiplicity you see is just an illusion. That is Chaturtha, fourth Turiya. Anyante Atma, that is the self. Savijayaha, that has to be understood. <coughs> Nivrte Sarvadukaram Ishana Prabhuravyaha. When you if you want to transcend, conquer all your sorrows and miseries, Nivrte Sarvadukara, Ishana Prabhuravyaha, Advaita Sarvabhavaram, Devas Turyo Vibhus Mataha. Well, this is Mandukya Karika for the previous. Sruti Vakyas. So to get moksha, so that is to be liberated from all dukkhas. The indestructible Satyam Jnana Vanantam Brahma Prabhu, the Lord. Advaitam Sarva Bhavana. Oneness of all exists. Bhava means existence. There was Turiya Vibhusmataha. Turiya, the supreme being. It's called Turiya, the last. Beyond the three, the fourth. So in Om, we have the dot. The dot is Turiya, some people say, and the rest of Om they explain as three states of Jagrat Sapnasu. Karya Karana Badhauta Visheshe Vishwatejasau. Both the Vishwa Vaishwanara and Tejasa, that is the waking state, extroversial universe, and the dream state, Tejasa, Vaishwanara and Tejasa, both are. Bound by Karya Karana Sambandha. That is, there is a cause and effect relationship. So, everything that happens in this world has a cause. You all know that. Karana Bhavat Karya Bhavaha. Without cause, there cannot be an effect. So, everything that happens, there is a cause. And that cause and effect chain is binding all events, all activities in the waking state and also in dream state. Kari Karana Baddhauta Vishyate Vishyateja Sauprajyam Karana Baddhastu Dvauta Turiyena Vivadjyataha Turiyena Siddhyataha Naatmanam Naaparam That means in the rest of the Prajna state there is no Kari Karana Sambandha existence. And also in Turiya, the fourth, there is no Karikarana. Rajya Kinchana Samveti Turiyam Tatsarva Dritsada Dvaitasya Grahanam Tulyam Ubhayo Prajya Turiyo Vijayanidraya Prajya Chasa Turiyan Navijate. In the deep sleep state, the, the root, the, the seed is deep sleep, and in Turiya, that is not there. Nidra name which is Swapnam Turiya Paschanti Vipaschita. Anyatha Grandha is Swapno, Nidra Tatva Vajanata, Viparya Veta Yokshine Turiyam Adamasute. So when all the three states' attributes are transcended, the Turiya state is acquired. Anadi Mahaya Sukto Yada Jiva Prabhujate. So now, Audapada is saying, this jiva who is sleeping for a long time due to maya, when he wakes up, just as, as Anshankaracharya explained in the Dakshina Murti Stotram, Vishwam, Dharpada Vishyamar Nagari Tuljya Mijan Tarigatam, Pashyan Atmani Mayaya Bahirivod Bhutam Yadha Nidraya, 
साक्षात कृते प्रबोध समय स्वात्मा प्रबोध समय दिस जीवा इज स्लीपिंग फॉर ए लॉन्ग टाइम इन ड्यू टू माया एनी वेक्स अप दट इज वेन दी एनलाइटनमेंट हैपन्स अजम अनिद्रम अस्वप्न अद्वैत बुझते सदा and he will realize that which is unborn ajam av anidram which doesn't sleep aswapnam which doesn't dream advaitam non dual there is no second ekameva advitiyam brahma one without a second mukhyate tada then he will understand पंचो यदि विद्यत निवर्तेत न संशय वेदर यूनिवर्स एक्सिस्ट और डिजॉल्व्स मायावात्र मिदम द्वैतम अद्वैतम परमात्मा कहा वेदर द यूनिवर्स एक्सिस्ट और गेट्स डिजॉल्व दिस ड्यूअलिटी इज ड्यू टू माया अद्वैतम वननेस इज द ट्रांसेंडेंटल ट्रूथ विकल्पो विनिवर्तेत कलो यदि कैनचि उपदेश दिस उपदेशाद्रमकार so this atman or brahman is which is om has three parts in it a u and ma yagarita sthano vaishwanaro akaraha the waking state vaishwanara is a and prathama matran te atmatva dvapna ti bhavai sarvan kamar adishch bhavati so all desires are fulfilled with a That is in the waking state. Yeah, even Veda, Swapna Sthana, Taija Sa Ukaro, in dream state is Ukar U, and Diti Yama Tro Utkarsha Utkarsha U is standing for exaltation Utkarsha Ubhayatva Dwa Duality Multiplicity Wa Utkarsha Diha Vai Jnana Sapta Tamun Sapta Tim Samana Chakavati. मकार उत्कर्षाटम उत्कर्षो निषुधाशुत्यूज्यूता In all the three, well, that which is common, pujha is worth worshiping, adorable, sarvabhuta na vandya is to be respected by all beings. Eva Mahamuni and he who knows is Maham. Akaro na yate vishram, pukaras chayvate sam, pukaras chupona prajnam, amatre vijjate gati. Amatras chaturtho. What about the fourth? There is no matra. Avu matra already finished. First three. The fourth has 
Nomatra Prapancho Pashamaha. It is the one which comes from the whole universe. Prapancha. Prapancha means universe made up of five elements. Pancha. Prapancha. Shiva. He is Shiva. That is Shiva. Advaita. Eva Omkar. Advai Atma. Eva Samvishyat Atman Atmanam. Eva Veda. So if you are established in the Turiya, you are established in the Supreme Being, you are established in the Self. Paramatma, Parabrahman, Turiya state. Evam Veda, he who knows this. Evam Veda, Ityupanishad, only for he know, who knows this. Those means not just knowing theoretically, but through Sravana, Manana, Nididhyasana, whose prerequisites are Sadhana, Chatushtaya, Sampati. What are Sadhana, Chatushtaya, Sampati? Shama, Dhamma, Titiksha, Uparati, Shama, Dhamma, Shatka, Sampati. Six qualities. That is the first one. Then Ihavutra Phala Bhoga Virakti. Not having any interest and having disgust for all objects of enjoyment or pleasure or achievement, procurement in this life or beyond in the heaven. No interest in a disgust. That is second requirement. And third is that is Nichanitya Vastu to be able to distinguish what is Permanent, Nitya, and what is temporary. And finally, the fourth is Moksha. To be intensely, desperately interested in getting Moksha. If these four qualities, the Sadhana, Chatushtaya, Sampati are not there, it is not possible to acquire Brahmajya. And after having the four qualities, by performing Sravanam, which is what you are doing right now, then Maranam, then Nididhyasanam, which includes deep contemplation and meditation in Samadhi state, you will experience the Supreme Consciousness as one with yourself and you will be liberated. Once you experience that, you are liberated. Om Karam Pada Sovidyat Pada Mahatrana Samchaya Om Karam Pada Sojnyatva Nakinchita Vichintaye So, understanding the Om Karam, don't think of anything else. Meditate on Om. Yunjita Shal Yoga That is, practice yoga or meditation. Pranava Pranaveta Chetaha Pranavo Brahmanir Bhayam Pranavam Pranavam is Onkar. Practice Onkar. Onkaram is Brahma, fearless. Pranave Nitya Yuktasya Nabayam Vijet Pache. He who is always meditating on Om, chanting Om, he is free from all fears. Pranavo Pyaham. Pranavo pi param ap pranavo hi param brahma. Onkara is Brahman. Pranavascha parasmutaha apurvo pantaro bahyo aparaha pranavo vyeha indestructible pranava he is inside and outside. Sarvasya pranavo hyadi madhyasthanta tadaivacha. Beginning, middle, and end, everything is pranavam om. Evam hi pranavam jnatva yasnute tadanantaram. So he who understands the nature of pranava, he will reach enlightenment. Pranava hi ishwaram vidyat sarvasya hrutisam sthitam. Sarvasya jaham hrutisam nivishto matta smriti jnanam apohanam cha. I am the self in all beings established in the heart. Somebody was asking, where is the self? The self is everywhere, but mainly in the center in the heart. That's why we say have a heart. Have a heart means have feelings, have emotions. Sarvasya hrudi samsthitam. Sarva vyapinam omkaram matva. Jivo na So the jiva, individual, realizing omkara as everything, will not be worried of anything. Amatra Ananta Matrascha. The Turiya stage is Amatra, no syllable, but it is all syllables. Dvaitasya Upashama Shivaha, where the duality has come down and it is blissful. Shiva state, Omkaro Vijito Yena. Samunihi, he who understood home, he is Muni. <coughs> Na itaro janaha, not others. Samunihi, na itaro janaha. Iti. 
ಪ್ರೌಢಪಾದೇಯ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಕಾರಿಕ ಪ್ರಥಮ ಆಗಮ ಪ್ರಕರಣ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಮೋರ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಗೌಡಪಾದ ಕಾರಿಕ ವಿಚ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಸ್ಕಿಪಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಬಿಗ್ ಒನ್ ಇಟ್ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದಿ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಗೌಡಪಾದ ಕಾರಿಕ ಸೊ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದಿ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಓವರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಅಮಾತ್ರ ಚತುರ್ಥೋ ಅನ್ಯ ಆರ್ಯ ಪ್ರಪಂಚೋಪಶಮ ಶಿವ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಓಂಕಾರ ಆತ್ಮ ಇವ ಸಂಶತ್ಮಾನ ವೇದ ಎೇದ ಇತ್ಯುಪನಿಷತ್ ಓ ಭದ್ರಂ ಕರ್ಣೇ ಶೃಣಯಾಮ ದೇವಾ ಭದ್ರಂ ಪಶ್ಯೇಮಾಕ್ಷಿರೈರಂಗೈಸ್ತುಷ್ಟು ಆಗುಂಸಸ್ತನೂಹಿ ವ್ಯಸೇಮ ದೇವಹಿತ ಯದಾಯು ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನ ಇಂದ್ರೋ ವೃದ್ಧಸ್ರವಾ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನ ಪೂಷಾ ವಿಶ್ವೇದ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನ ಸಾಕ್ಷೋ ಅರಿಷ್ಟನೇಮಿ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನೋ ಬೃಹಸ್ಪತಿ ತದಾತು ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಓಕೆ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಸಿ ಎಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರಭು ಗಾರು ನಾವು ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸಮ್ ಇಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಷನ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಚಾರ್ಟ್ ಬಾಕ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಮೆನಿ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಅದ್ವೈತ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತ ಹೌ ಟು ಅಚೀವ್ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಬೈ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಅಸಲ್ಸ್ as brahman the puja and rituals are done to whom yeah that is you see when you have not understood you as brahman obviously you are not understood so that means you have to accept yourself as a jiva and therefore there is a shiva brahman separate so you do puja to that shiva and then finally you tell shiva oh shiva you are in me you are actually myself but i am not able to know it i want to merge with you that is bhakti so there are mokshas in uh, bhakti yoga of uh, salokya sarupya samitya and sainj what is sainj mukti is merging in the lord ಆತ್ಮಾತ್ವಂ ಗಿರಿಜಾಮತಿ ಸಹಚರ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಶರೀರ ಗೃಹ ಪೂಜಾ ತೇ ವಿಷಯೋಪಭೋಗ್ರಮತ ನಿದ್ರಾ ಸಮಾಧಿ ಸ್ಥಿತಿ ಸಂಚಾರ ಪದಯೋ ಪ್ರದಕ್ಷಿಣ ವಿಧಿ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ಸರ್ವಾಗಿರೋ ಯಜ್ಜತ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಕರೋಮಿ ತತ್ತದ ಅಖಿಲ ಶಂಭೋ ತವಾರ ಕರಚರಣ ಕೃತಂ ವಾ ಅನು ಕರ್ಮ ವಾಕಾಯ ಜುಂಬಾ ಚರಣ ನೈನ ಜುಂಬಾ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಐ ಡೂ ಶಂಭೋ ತವಾರ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ why the universe is created i could just remain just as non created then we do not need to try for moksha good idea you can suggest it to the lord not to create the universe next time having done mistake once <laughs> i also agree with you he should not have created the universe and created all these problems is there is there no name for turiya turiya is the name itself is turiya is is the name it is transcendental state of experience that turiya itself is name turiya itself means transcendental that which is beyond all the rest is turiya state is samadhi state yeah uh, the word samadhi is uh, used in different different uh, uh context some people use it as meditation some people use it as deep meditation in yoga shastra in patanjali yoga sutras which we'll be covering later samadhi is the ultimate achievement of yogic realization 
and multiple types of samadhis exist. Savitarka, nirvitarka, savikalpa, nirvikalpa, savichara, nirvichara, sabija, nirbija, and only nirbija. There is no bija also. There is no seed for rebirth. Sasyabhinirodhe sarvanirodha nirbija samadhi, Patanjali says. Then you are liberated. Even Savitarka is like what we are doing right now is Savitarka Samadhi. We are analyzing. Savichara Samadhi. Absorption is called Samadhi. So it is not just one. There are multiple types. So obviously Surya is definitely Samadhi and beyond that maybe or the highest of Samadhis. Which God is Om and who created Om? Nobody created Om. Ajam just said unborn. Om is Brahman, itself existing automatically by itself. And the same Om, same Brahman is being manifested as Shiva, as Narayana, Vishnu, as Shakti, as Ganapati, as Kartikeya, and as Surya and Navadvatas. All these six Shanmatas, six religions, so to say, have been created. They were integrated with the Advaita Siddhanta by Ajahn So All these six are windows to the same Om Karam Parabrahma. What is the difference between Shushakti stage and Turiya? Sushupti. Yeah. Sushupti, Sushupti, deep sleep. Yeah. Deep sleep. Just now you wake up, woke up, no? Before attending this class, what were you doing? Either you must be in dream state or in deep sleep state. So that is deep sleep state. Sushupti. Sukti means sleeping. Sushupti means thoroughly happy to sleep. Deep sleep without dreams. And, what? Uh, and the Turiya is not deep sleep. It is not waking state. It is not dream state. It is something like Samadhi state. Or you can say, in some people interpret Turiya as just the all three put together and beyond. Plus, plus. So that which is all three and beyond. Theoretical Veda things, they don't have practice of Samadhi or anything. They will say that this Turiya is nothing but all three put together, the one which is going through all three states. Yeah, what is the next question? What does Shiva mean? Shiva means blissful. Blissful. Kalyana Swarupa. And in Tamil language, Ja and Shah are having same letter. So if you write that, you can read it as Shiva or Jiva. So Jiva and Shiva are one and the same. This is one interpretation by Ravana Maharshi. So Dharmam is decreased by day by day? No, Why? what is it saying? So repeat. Dh dharma, dharmam is decre decreased by day by day. Why? No, no, it is not decreased day by day. In Kali Yuga, by Yuga Dharma, by the nature of Kali Yuga, it is only 25% exists. 25% only Adharma exists. Mm -hmm. So, in Dvapar Yuga, it was 50%. In Kaitha Yuga, it was 25%. In Kaitha Yuga, it was 0% Dharma, 100% Dharma. It was 175, 50, 25. In Kaluga, it's only 25%. It is not decreasing to 0%. So it will go on till the end of Kalugam, and at that time it becomes 0%. Then again, Kratayagam will start. So the next step. Next step. What is the difference between Mandukya Upanishad and Manduko Upanishad? So both are same. Mandukya. Plus Upanishad, this becomes Mandukya Upanishad in Santi. All is universe. So, why we try to know God? No, say again. All is universe. 
so we, why we try to know god yeah what is this universe who created it from where it has come from where into it what it will go and what is it containing what is its true nature what is behind the universe and that is what we are trying to find out and that is what god is god means not the english god of a bible which is very crude the definition only creator creator they say and that also they will give up and say yehova he came and had a wrestling fight all nonsense they talk that is not the god we are talking about so we are talking about brahman para brahman omkar so you first understand what the shruti is telling about that once you understand then you will your doubts will be eliminated as long as you don't understand there will be hundreds of doubts like this next all upanishads talk of the same brahman which of the upanishads would be appropriate for a student to start with even the shlokas of shankara like the nirvana satakam talk of the same state but understanding is different from realization what would lead to this realization yeah good question uh, upanishads if you understand then you will get brahma jnana that's why the simplest of all upanishads the first one each tavas upanishad we have started with it. and there are 108 upanishads and they are covering different different perspectives this is vedanta perspective samanya vedanta upanishads and advanced vedanta upanishads 40 odd are there and 20 odd are yoga upanishads and 20 are shaiva vaishnava shaktiya like this and then tantra related so totally we have 108 So if you start now, you can possibly finish by the end of your life, and then by then you may get realization. Understanding is the prerequisite for realization. Realization is a transformation of the consciousness within yourself. Shravana, manana, nidhi, dhyasana. Listening or reading, manana or remembering again and again, analyzing. <laughs> Finally, contemplating or absorbing, meditating, meditating, and finally getting absorbed into the samadhi state into three. And these are the different stages. I wish you all the best to reach that. Next, does Advaita Advaita prescribe meditation as a sadhana? How to yes, do Advaita meditation? Just now we we heard. ओंकारा when we die will we be in turiya state no as per the uh, of course uh, if you ask me whether i have experienced it and telling you also gone through the same process because all of us before we were born we must have died somewhere right so uh, if you ask me i can ask you the same question we both have gone through the same process <coughs> but as per the shastras uh there will be rebirth so now or later if it is later in between stages the heaven and hell will be experienced the happiness or misery and again the rebirth will take place based on the karma so again the same story will start so we we don't know whether at that time vss will conduct this batch and will not again <laughs> but Definitely, I'm set. I mean, it's a scene. Intermediate, I'm set. IIT joined. All these things will be there. So it will be a big uh, story once again. The the horror story and the terror story. So the idea is to escape from this cycle of birth and rebirth. So that's why all religions are trying to reach uh, 
a stage of moksha so that you will be born and not be born again not required definitely not required such a bad experience never again <laughs> so how to be not born again that is the motivation <laughs> moksha freedom for which all this vedanta yoga bhakti jnana everything is coming forward to help you out of course in the abrahamic religions there is no moksha there are no idea of what is moksha uh, they only know heaven and hell because there is no rebirth they say that uh, after you die you go to either heaven or hell and stay there permanently which is a utter uh, uh, illogical statement because they ask for the karma only everything will happen and if uh, somebody is going to stay in hell permanently or somebody is going to stay in heaven permanently what about all is of good deeds a person who did bad deeds will go to hell but he must have done some at least one good deed so he must go to heaven at least for 5 minutes like dharmaraja went to hell for 5 minutes so according to these religions they have no understanding what will happen they will simply tell something or other very roughly crudely approximately and they don't have a concept of moksha unfortunately but buddhism jainism have the same concept of moksha of not being born again as sanatan dharma or hinduism has next any book suggested to understand non dualism theory at least uh, basics yeah all the uh, upanishad bhashyas of shankaracharya which are based on the gaudapada i just know there is no better text than vandukya upanishad and no better explanation than the gaudapada karika of vandukya upanishad which is attached to it already it is not a separate book it is attached to the vandukya upanishad and based on that only all shankaracharya has explained and elaborated and expanded and enunciated the advaita siddhanta the only siddhanta in the world which can be proved in propositional logic no other siddhanta exists either in sanatan dharma or in any other religion or any other culture or civilization the world which can be proved by propositional logic even in a court of law let alone by arguments that's how he defeated all the contemporary philosophers andashanda pashanda bauddha jaina charvaka kapalika etc etc and established advaita as the only siddhanta supreme siddhanta and therefore he was declared as jagat guru at his time next sound of deep universe if heard also reflects the sound of om is it is this correct maybe yes maybe i am not very sure because i didn't hear that deep uh, universe sound if you heard you let me know i will also want to hear next what is happening to atma in shushupti if everything is blank where is it going to it is in itself antaprajna it is not bahiprajna it is antaprajna why shanti is repeated thrice yeah because we have three types of ashanti Do, do I have to tell you how many types of ashanti you have? <laughs> Miserable states. We have three types, broadly categorized. You can add all of the small, small things to one of these three: adi bhavatika, adi daivika, and adhya. Adi bhavatika is physical problems, and adi daivika is natural problems, and adhya is internal problems within yourself, including psychological, spiritual, mental. is it much so all the three types of problems are prayed or wished or accepted or declared or hoped to be calmed down shanti means calming down they are not going to eliminate it but they will calm down shamanam yeah yeah normally we sleep when we sleep what is the duration of sapna avastha will it be same for all no it will not be same for all some people have no deal, dreams at all they are lucky people some people have nightmares and it depends on your stomach believe it or not what you ate will decide your dream if you can sleep without dreams you are lucky <laughs> 
So uh, definitely you will speak without dreams after some time. Uh, there will be a deep, deep, deep sleep, dreamless deep sleep straight uh, in, the, in the middle, in the beginning and at the end dreams may be there. Yeah. Kindly give us a technique to unlearn the Western education conditioning like cause effect and uh, Darwinian theories. Darwin theory is already abandoned because if man came from monkey, then why monkey still there around here? <laughs> All monkeys should have disappeared, only man should be there. It has not happened. So Darwinian theory is a bogus theory. He has faked the data also. That is also exposed. Evolution exists, but not like what he says. Evolution happens parallelly across the species. According to Sanatana Dharma text, 84 lakhs of living beings were created right in the beginning and they keep on evolving. So now, uh, what is the other question in this question? Uh, no. Uh, uh, right. Cause and effect. Cause and effect is, uh, that's what I have been uh, asserting right from the day one that our entire Sanatana Dharma is scientific. It is based on cause and effect analysis only. So Hinduism is a scientific culture. It is a scientific way of it. That is the purpose for which delivering this course. So if you attend courses like this, you will understand this fact that Sanatana Dharma is a scientific subject and Hinduism is a scientific way of life. Actually, the first part of the question is uh, kindly give us the technique to unlearn this Western conditioning. No, no, it is not possible to unlearn so easily, but it is possible to learn new perspectives. So you better learn the new perspective, the scientific perspective of Sanatana Dharma, so that you will automatically be able to uh, distinguish between what is genuine and what is fake. Next. We all talk of existence after creation, but who is prior to this existence? Is an infinite state? Is it looped or it is divergent, unexplained metaphysical aspect? So before the creation, there was avyakta, unmanifest. Avyakta, vyaktaya sarva, parbhavant, jaharagame. The beginning of creation, the beginning of Brahma's day, the Bhagavad Gita 8th chapter clearly says, the beginning of the day of Brahma, which is one day of Brahma is one full kalpam. So in the beginning of that, from the unmanifest avyakta came all the manifest universe. Avyakta, vyaktaya sarva prabhavanti aharagame, ratriagame, viliyante. At the end of Brahma's day, end of kalpam, they go back to the avyakta. So the pulsating universe coming forward and backward, forward and backward. This is the explanation given in the Bhagavad Gita and also in the Nasadiya Suktam of the Rigveda and also in the Upanishads, the cosmology. Tasma de Tasma Atmanaha Akasha Sambhutaha Akasha Dvayuhu Vayo Ragni Agne Rapaha Abja Prithivi, Prithivyadannam, Annad Bhutani, Annad Purushaha. So the sequence of creation came from the unmanifest Avyakta. Adi Keshava is the word used. There is a temple also saying Adi Keshava, Adi Narayana, that is the name used for the unmanifest Parabrahman is Adi Narayana. Which type of daily practice gives liberation fast? Om. If you can get Brahmajnana and understand what is Om and meditate on Om, you will be liberated as fast as possible. Is a self-discovery self-discovery mode? I mean, the question is how? Is self-discovery mode? I understand this. What is it? The question is how? I mean, it says is a self-discovery mode? That's the only thing. Self-discovery self -discovery is what we are talking about. So self-discovery is a process. It starts with elimination. 
Neti ne, not this. Oh, I am not. I am not Aadhaar number. I am not PAN number. I am not address. I am not employee number. I am not an ID number. I am not name. I am not designation. I am not the body. I am not the mind. I am not the intellect. I am not ego. Then who am I? I still exist. So that self is I am, pure consciousness. It is a long drawn process to reach that understanding. But it is possible. You can start immediately. Next. If everyone says they are Brahman, then they have their own definition for everything, which is again adharma. No, no. Who, who is everyone saying uh, they are Brahman? Brahman is only one. Multiplicity is not. Ekameva Abhidhyam Brahman. Yes, next question. Uh, just a minute. I have listened to a talk by Swami Sapriyananda, Sarvapriyananda, to IIT students on Mandukya Upanishad. Quite okay, quite interesting. Anyway, yeah, this, yeah, what is the question? No there, question. there was no question, it was only a yeah, yeah. Uh, same thing. Uh, Swami Sarvapriyananda is from Ramakrishna Yeah. He is a Swami, he is a sannyasi. I am also uh, like that only, but I am not wearing sannyasi clothes. I am a fake Brihastha. <laughs> These four yugas, Satya, Treta, Dwapara and Kali, are there in all Kalpas? Yes, same thing. It's about 43 lakhs, 43.2 lakhs of years, uh, about 432 lakhs of years, uh, which is coming close to the uh, life of Earth, 4.3 billion years. Because the Kali Yuga is 4 lakhs, 32,000, double of it is Babra, 3 times is Treta, and 4 times of Kali is Satya Yuga. Total will be 10, that is 43, 432. So 4.3 is the age of creation. <coughs> so Mandukya Chandra after this cycle is over again, it will start. It will be going back and again coming forward, the pulsating universe. Mandukya is known as frog. Does it mean this Upanishad elevates from uh, elevates? us from the state of a frog in the well to uh, self-realization. You can interpret it that way. You can write one book on that. Um, so different definitions are given different names, just like A, B, C, D, E. Uh, there is nothing more than that. Like Kena Upanishad starts with Kena because that Upanishad starts with the word Kena. And Taitri Upanishad starts with Titriya Pakshi. There is a story of Titra Pakshi. So these are all uh, accidental names, you can do a research on that. Next. Sir, soul is indestructible and if there is no rebirth, where will they reside permanently? Where the word, where you ask, it means space. And there is time also. So whereas the self, Brahma, is beyond space and time. Words cannot reach and mind cannot grasp. That is Brahman. There is no space where, when all these things don't exist. Yeah. Next. What is your take on the statement that Buddhism, Jainism are not separate? religion. They are only different uh, matapara, siddhanta, like dvaita, dvaita, etc. Please clarify. Not really. You should ask this question to a Jain Muni. I am not exactly a Jain Muni, but I can. I have met many Jain Munis. I can tell you. Jain Siddhanta, they claim to be previous to Buddhist. 
both have a lot of commonalities. Ahimsa is one commonality. But there are many other factors in which they don't agree with each other. But both are agreeing on yoga because both are yogi, dharma yoga. That's why my dharma yoga framework is common for all religions. Dharma and yoga are accepted both. But there are many other differences like the state of Buddha and the, the Jainism, there is no Buddha business. And it is all the gurus. They are, they are Tirthankara Sante. I have gone to many Jainis, Jain uh, holy places also. So, Dharma and Yoga are common. Reincarnation is common. Moksha is common. Even with Hinduism. But there are substantial differences between them. In the connection of Brahm, Buddha and uh, Tirthankara and uh, Abrahamic religions think this is the first birth, but depending upon deed, they will go permanently in heaven or hell. Is it not a contradiction? Yes, it is a contradiction. Because if they are gone, all those who died, if they are gone to heaven and hell permanently, then how new people are being born? So that means endless number of births and endless number of deaths and endless number of people in heaven and hell. Heaven and hell must be endless. It's not the case in Hinduism. It is a fixed number. There will be rotation. Next. What is propositional logic that you refer to in respect of Advaita? Yeah. Logic, I mean, I have studied logic both from the computer science artificial intelligence point of view and from the traditional point of view. So logic is based on the validity of a statement. If you make a statement, a proposition, if I say sun is dark, suppose I make a statement sun is dark, black, then it can be proved to be false by various other statements, observations, inferences, then my statement is false. My proposition is proved as fallacy. So that way you can prove anything or disprove anything. So this is a logical argument. And this is called Nyaya Darshana. And there are many types of arguments, Vada, Jalpa, and so on. And in the courts of law, that's why they are known as Nyastharas. They perform logical analysis. In science, we perform logic. The whole of science is nothing but logic. And Adi Shankaracharya has used the same logic, Tarka, Tarka Shastra, to establish Advaita as the supreme, the only truth, and defeated all others at his time. So that is what? Propositional, proposition. Then the second logic is predicate logic. In computer science, mathematics, the predicate logic is the basis for <coughs> relational calculus. So that is mathematics and all. I don't want to go into that. This propositional logic means making a proposition, proving it to be true or false. Suppose you say A is true. Then if you derive B from A and C from B and D from C, and finally, E, which you derived from D, is the opposite of A. That means the entire A, B, C, D logical sequence is false. So a lot of people indulge in falsehood. Even today, you know very well how people tell lies, falsehood. And uh, so logic is the only way to establish truth and dismiss false. And no other, all the Abrahamic religions or many other religions, they are not interested in this kind of analysis. Whereas Advaita is based on logic and it has been established on proposition. Therefore, it is proven. It can be proved anywhere, anytime. That's how it could be established as the supreme Siddhanta by Adi Shankaracharya, by his arguments with other philosophers of his time. We respect all philosophers. We are not saying all others are fools. We are only saying they go up to a point in logic. Beyond that, they cannot. Like, for example, the Buddhist 
came out with what is called Shunyavad. Finally, everything is nothing. That is their thesis. And Nath Shankaracharya disproved it is not Shunya, but it is beyond Shunya. That is Brahman. And he used Mayavada, argument of Maya, to defeat Shunyavada. That is how Buddhists could be. Buddhists are purely logical, direct and materialism. They don't believe in God. So he could defeat pure logicians like Buddhists and Jains who don't believe in God and then establish Advaita as the Supreme Doctrine. Yeah. You can study Panchadasi, Arkana Krantham of Alshankarajarya, where the arguments are analyzed, Buddhist opposition and how they have defeated those objections. <laughs> Can't we consider Bhagavad Gita is the book for Advaita Siddhanta? Yes, that's what Al Shankaracharya interpreted in his commentary. Advaita Amrita Varshani Bhagavati Mashtadasha Jayini Adhaya Pratipaditam Bhagavata Narayane Swayam Yasena Gratitam Purana Munina Madhya Mahavarta Advaita Amrita Varshani Bhagavati Mashtadasha Jayini Mamba Va Manusandatam Bhagavad Gita, Bhavad Dheshini. Of course, uh, other Acharyas who came into the world 1500 years after Adi Shankaracharya, starting with Ramanuja and then Madhva and so on, they gave multiple different interpretations of the same Bhagavad Gita as extensions to Advaita Siddhanta. I don't uh, denigrate them, I respect all of them. It is a research extension. It is a polemics which 99.99% of the population cannot understand. It is only for those who are in the process of arguments. Those extremely minor differences are of importance. But otherwise, they are telling the same. Next. Like humans, will all animals also have self-realization sometime or other? Not possible. Not possible. Among humans also all will not, let alone non-humans. Jantu nam narajan madhur labhataram tatopi viprata tattu vaidika dharma marga parata vidvat subhoshanam. So Brahmatmana samsthiti satajanma kod sukhite vinalantate. So self-realization will come one among thousands or millions. <coughs> among human beings, not to speak of, because the jantus don't have the analytical power. Viveka, and they cannot have Vairagya. They have not understood any of, they cannot understand any of the philosophical concepts. If you find any animal which is able to understand any philosophical concept, please show it to me. I'm not talking of Hanuma. I'm talking of the ordinary animals. Somebody says Sanatan Dharma is a pseudoscience. How to contradict this? No, they are themselves pseudo thinkers. They are not able to understand. That's why they are talking. I request them to come to me and attend this course and understand thoroughly and then give a statement after. Is reciting slokas a form of manana, dwelling on the forms of Bhagavad, yes. Bhagavan? Yes. Does bhakti come into realization? Yeah, bhakti is one of the main ingredients of karma. And karma is meant for purification. Sarvam karma shlam partha jnane parasam. Finally, everything ends in jnana. Bhakti definitely is an important factor. In the Bhagavad Gita, bhakti is given supreme position and we consider theoretically as part of karma. Next. Satya, Treta, Dwapara, Kali will be in cycle or goes back to Kali? No, Dwapara, Treta, are... Satya. All the four are in sequence. Prita, Treta, Dwapara, Kali, all four follow one after the other. Is moksha attained only after death or can a person living in this materialistic world again? Yesterday yeah. I gave answer to this. Moksha can be in this life, and that is called Jivan Mukti. 
and there is videha mukti without body so after death the mukti so you can be liberated while being alive that's the best we have Run. started this course we are we have launched this course only with an objective to help people to achieve moksha in this life itself if possible when indian knowledge system gets introduced mainstream education system in india will will it improve the social and political lives too yes definitely we cannot eliminate the modern education system but we have to integrate we have to introduce some parts gradually the ancient knowledge systems into the modern knowledge system in a complementary manner and uh, improve the total quality of the education system. person who don't believe god and believe only in his karma to attain moksha without praying not knowing uh, about vedas upanishads rituals will it be attain moksha will he attain moksha how will he how will he perform karma to get moksha without knowing anything the only sources of knowledge of what to perform what not to perform तस्मा प्रमाण से कार्यकार्य व्यवस्थित तस्मा शास्त्र प्रमाण कर्म कर्मकर्तुहारहसी शास्त्र विधानोक्त कर्म कर्तुहारहसी भगवदगीता डिक्लेर्स यू डोंट नो व्हाट शुड बी परफॉर्म्ड एंड व्हाट शुड नॉट बी परफॉर्म देयर फॉर यू हैव टू टेक रिसोर्ट इनटू अ शास्त्र लाइक भगवदगीता और मनुस्मृति और कर्मशास्त्र एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा टू विच टेल यू what you should not do and what you should do so without that how will you perform karma to reach moksha next why do we worship animals so we are not worshiping any animal that is false we are we are uh, if you think hanuman is an animal you are mistaken so if you think nandishwara is an animal you are mistaken so we are not worshiping and cow cow is a Uh, we are, if you are referring to cow cow is a extraordinary animal uh, it is uh, close to man and it has got uh, many beneficial features we are not worshiping animals as a whole and even if you worship uh, nature uh, mountains rivers trees plants or animals as manifestations of divine there is nothing wrong but we are not as muslims think that hindus worship animals that is not true they don't understand when you don't understand you can think anything you like and talk nonsense that's what happens first you have to understand what is happening the hindu sanatan dharma then only you will be able to come to a conclusion next uh, i think we have come to the end of questions on the chat box yeah kalan babugar you can take it up okay and if uh thanks for the rapid fire session <laughs> <laughs> very interesting very interesting and you know lot of questions are uh, answered in one go without uh, somebody asking and now let us you know there is one person who raised the hand suresh kumar ne uh, let us ask him to unmute and then ask okay uh, namaskaram andi uh, one of the persons was actually asking why the upanishad was named mandukya upanishad so i just wanted to share something that i had read earlier so uh, it is basically what they were saying is uh, mahatmulu uh, they are uh, basically uh, meditating uh, in in one place for most of the year and uh, it only during uh, about 3 to 4 months of a year they actually come out of that meditation and then they spread the knowledge among the people that probably in chaturmasya period i am not sure if this is correct in the same way this is being compared to a frog which is basically very quiet during most of the year but only during that monsoon period when it is raining it starts making lot of noise you are, you are telling the opposite of the reality monsoon period they chaturmasya means they stay stable at one place they don't travel the rest of the time they travel 
Yeah. yeah that, that is where I I had the uh, question. That's why I said uh, this is what I had read. But basically, what they are saying is they they are comparing the behavior of uh, the. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this is the correct explanation. Yeah. Um, something is sure that the Chaturmasya period is the rainy season where yeah. the sadhus will are uh, are ordained. Patient. Yeah. Stay yeah. In place. Only one yeah. place is staying. Yeah. That works. Yeah, that is one thing. Second thing, sir, I, I wanted to check. Yeah, may not be right. Yeah, so the second thing I wanted to check with, sir, if, if let us say, uh, if we look at it uh, uh, from a population perspective, our population is obviously increasing and uh, growing, uh, especially that of India. We are now the most populous country. So does it mean that the people here, uh, if even now predominantly Hindus, uh, does it mean that we are all getting rebirths, uh, more and more rebirths, uh, and, and we are not attaining moksha? Most of us are obviously not going to be attaining moksha. So does no, it mean that... No, no, no. no. When, when population is increasing, human population is increasing, right? But, yes, sir. But all other, all other animal population and plant population and tree population and other living beings population is decreasing, yes or no? Uh, well, that is debatable, sir. We don't know whether it is actually happening. Debatable. It is not debatable. It is well known. Environmental destruction is happening. It is well known. Biodiversity is decreasing. Well known facts. What is environmental destruction? What is decrease in biodiversity? It is nothing but this. So, the total number is around the same. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Got it. So that means more and more uh, jivarasis are getting promoted into humans. If if that yeah, because was Kaluga, Kaluga is the last figure, right? Yeah, yeah. So the population of humans was very less in the Rutayam yeah. and gradually it increased. Correct, correct. Got it, sir. Thank you so much. Okay, now uh, now it's time also. We are over short. Thank you, sir. Thank you, CSR Prabhu Garu. Uh, very uh, nicely answered with a lot of patience and a lot of questions. And now uh, we uh, uh, we have done with Upanishads for the three days. Next, you know, we have Darshana. Darshanas, which will start from 9th nine, uh, of uh, this month. 9th, probably 12th, 13th. After that, we'll have uh, Vimana Shastra. Then we'll have Bhagavad Gita. So this will continue till 19th of this month. In between, we'll have from tomorrow onwards, we'll have uh, uh, Vedangas and then uh, Dharma Shastras from uh, Krishna Murari Dripadeji. Tomorrow, Saturday. So, as an exception, we had to plan uh, a session on Saturday, tomorrow morning. And uh, so, be uh, please, you know, uh, attend that because there is a very important topic, Vedangas. And also tomorrow afternoon, there is another session from Swaminiji, whom you met uh, during the inaugural session. Uh, then she talks about Mimansa. And that is the webinar part of it at from 4 o'clock to 5.30. So tomorrow there are two sessions. Uh, thank you, sir. And let us now uh, start with Prarthana. Om Swasti Prajapya Paripala Yantam Nyayena Margena Mahi Mahishaha Go Brahmane Pyap Subhamastunityam Loka Samasta Sukhino Pavantu Kale Varshat Pajanyaha Prithivi Sasya Shalini Desho Yam Shobharahito Brahmana Santunir Payaha Aputra Putrana Santu Putrana Santu Pautrinaha Adhana sadhana santu jivantu sharadam shatam satyam vada dharmam chara swadhyayanma pramadaha sarve bhavantu sukhinaha sarve santu niramayaha sarve bhadrani pasyantu makas chit dukkabag bhavet om shanti 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 Purnamid, Purnamada, Purnamidam, Purnat, Purnamudachate, Purnasya, Purnamadaya, 
ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವ ವಸಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಸರ್ವೆ ಜನ ಸುಖಿನೋಂತು ಲೋಕ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಸುಖಿನೋಂತು ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ನಾವು ಲೆಟರ್ ರಿಪೈಟ್ ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಆಂಥಮ್ ಚಲ ಚಿಟಿಬಾಬು ಗಾರಿ ಜನಗಣ ಮನ ಅಧಿನಾಯಕ ಜಯ ಹೇ ಭಾರತ ಭಾಗ್ಯ ವಿಧಾತ ಪಂಜಾಬ್ ಸಿಂಧು ಗುಜರಾತ ಮರಾಠ ದ್ರಾವಿಡ ಉತ್ಕಲ ಬಂಗ ವಿಂದ್ಯ ಹಿಮಾಚಲ ಯಮುನಾ ಗಂಗ ಉಚ್ಛಲ ಜಲಧಿ ತರಂಗ ತವ ಶುಭ ನಾಮೇ ಜಾಗೇ ತವ ಶುಭ ಆಶಿಷ ಮಾಂಗೇ ಗಾಹೆ ತವ ಜಯ ಗಾಥ ಜನಗಣ ಮಂಗಳದಾಯಕ ಜಯ ಹೇ ಭಾರತ ಭಾಗ್ಯ ವಿಧಾತ ಜಯ 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 ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಚಲಾ ಚಿಟ್ಟಿ ಬಾಗುವರು